The race for Kentucky governor is set. It'll be current attorney general versus former AG. Republican Daniel Cameron will try to unseat Democratic incumbent Andy Bashir. Yeah, the current attorney general makes history, though, as the Republican nominee, raking in nearly 50% of the vote. WCPO 9 News anchor Brett Bogansky is in Louisville tonight with how Cameron plans on unifying the party after a tough primary. Big night for Daniel Cameron after the Associated Press called the race in his favor just minutes after the polls closed in Western Kentucky. On Tuesday night, Cameron went on stage thanking his supporters, saying he is honored to be the nominee for the Republican Party for Kentucky governor. And Cameron's message was a referendum on Governor Andy Bashir, specifically for how the governor handled the pandemic, his administration policies about school curriculum, and his stance on transgender student athletes playing women's sports. But he also talked about unifying the Republican Party, including the 11 other people he defeated in this primary election. Like you and me, they care deeply about the future of the Commonwealth. And they know to get Kentucky back on track, we have one mission. And that one mission is to retire Andy Bashir from the governor's office. And together we can do that. Cameron thanked former President Donald Trump for his endorsement, and the former president also released a statement Tuesday about Cameron's victory, but never mentioned Cameron's name in the actual message, but instead took a dig at Ron DeSantis, saying the results from Kentucky reaffirm he is still the leader of the Republican Party. Cameron made history Tuesday night. He is the first African-American nominee from a major political party to be running for Kentucky governor. And this November, he will try to make even more history. In Louisville, Brett Pagansky, WCPO 9 News. Cameron's path to governor only gets more difficult from here. He faces off against current governor Andy Bashir, who had two challengers tonight and handily won against them. Bashir addressed supporters at the podium as they chanted they want four more years. Bashir wasted no time touting his achievements. Everything we're doing right now is about building for the future. These three years of record-setting economic development should lead us into 30 years of progress and prosperity. Just in the last three years, $24 billion in new private sector investment here in Kentucky. Polls show Bashir is a very popular governor. He's the only Democrat in Kentucky holding a statewide elected office. Here is how other Republicans stacked up tonight uh, behind A.G. Cameron. Agriculture Commissioner Ryan Quarles pulled 22 percent of the vote. Former ambassador to the U.N. Kelly Kraft had 17 percent. She was once considered a front runner and spent millions of her own money in this campaign. WCPO 9 News reporter Sean Delancey has reaction from her ardent supporters in Lexington tonight. In a night that began as hopeful celebration for like-minded supporters of former U.S. Ambassador Kelly Kraft quickly crashed into a night of sadness as she slipped further and further behind. In her concession speech, she was gracious for those who stuck with her. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Kraft supporters were captured by what they called a resolute defense of Christian moral values. She described herself as anti-abortion, pro-Second Amendment, and a supporter of the Christian conservative movement. Now there's worry about whether Daniel Cameron can succeed against Andy Bashir in November. I am not anti-Cameron. That's not my agenda at all. But I truly believe her, what she says, what she stands for, and her purpose in running for governor gives us the best chance to unseat the, the current governor. In her concession speech, Kraft called for the Republican Party to unify against Bashir. It is worth noting that she avoided saying Cameron's name when calling for that unity. In Lexington, I'm Sean Delancey, WCPO 9 News. And candidate Eric Dieters was the fourth highest vote getter tonight, but in his home in northern Kentucky had a pretty decent night. Preliminary results show Dieters was the second highest vote getter in Grant, Gallatin, and Carroll counties. He placed third in Boone, Kenton, and Campbell counties. All right, let's get you caught up with the rest of the results. Incumbent Secretary of State Michael Adams easily defeated his challengers. He wins the nomination to fight for a second term. Current Kentucky State Treasurer Allison Ball won the Republican nomination for Kentucky Auditor. Mark Metcalf won the nomination for Treasurer on the GOP side. On to the race for Agriculture Commissioner. Democrat Sierra Enlow nabs the nomination with 59% of the vote. Jonathan Schell wins the GOP's nomination with 56%.